Hello everyone, it's Christina of Crafty Paws. I wanted to come on and share a special project that I made for Beth Graves' one year YouTube anniversary memory capsule challenge. And I was so excited when I came up with the idea of what I wanted to create. And I knew I could kind of hand cut things and use some diamond dies. So by the way, this is also a diamond dies design team project. These are the dies that I use. It's the heart nesting die set and the tag die set. And both of these I think are so versatile and great to have in your crafting stash. Um, and if you're gonna make a purchase at Diamond Dies, please consider using the coupon code Thanks Christina with a K for 10% off and free shipping on all orders of $35 or more. They have a great variety of very versatile, useful dies. Now for this, what I did was I had some heavyweight chipboard and I decided I wanted a house shape to make it kind of look like a dog house. So I took a plain piece of copy paper and a pencil and just drew out half of a house, essentially. It's mostly straight lines. I put a little bit of a curve here, but you don't have to do that. I put a little bit of a notch here along the roof line, but you don't have to do that either. And then I put it on the heavyweight chipboard and just traced it out. Then I flipped it over and traced out the other side so that both sides of the house would look relatively even. Then I cut the whole thing out with my X-Acto blade. And it took a couple of passes just because the chipboard is so thick, but I really wanted this to be nice and sturdy so that it could last in the memory capsule. Then what I did was I decided to decorate it up. Um, I had some scraps of some Graphic 45 paper. This red plaid is from the Good Old Sport collection. And then I had, I think this is the backside of one of the other sheets from Graphic 45. And then I had this black and white pattern, floral kind of pattern paper. And I actually fussy cut all of those little areas out and added that to the bottom, adding some double-sided foam adhesive to a few of the pieces so that it would have a little bit of dimension too, and cover up just the base of the door, like how it would be maybe if this house was in a yard. For the windows, I use the, the second to the smallest and the smallest heart dies and stack them together and ran that through my die cutting machine. Then for the panes here, what I did was I just hand cut out some panes so that it would look like the windows were heart windows with the panes that matched the plaid uh, frame. And I did that to both of them. I backed them, like I said, with another piece of Graphic 45 paper. And then the house itself, I covered just with another big scrap of paper that I had in my stash. I'm sorry, I don't remember what collection that is from. Then for this pull area here, I used the third I used the third smallest tag, and the door is actually a little bit wider than that, but I just needed to roll up through the die cutting machine up to about here, and that creates this great pull design. Then for the door itself, I cut out a little window with a heart die, that's the, the smallest heart, and I wanted to do that just so it would show the top little puppy that I colored up. And I decided instead of going for natural colors, I would color up all of these dogs in rainbow color. So you can see here, I had so much fun with this. And I did that all with my Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. And if you're interested in how to do watercolor stamping with markers like that, I have a couple of videos where I share how to do that. So I will put links in the description box below to those tutorial videos. But basically, I just took my time, picked out colors kind of in rainbow color order, although I added a few extra colors. And then this little dog is the only dog that's turned the other way, facing backwards. And I colored that one up in a natural kind of doggy color with a beige. Then for the front pull piece, I basically took a jelly roll pen. This is a silver glitter pen. And I just hand drew on a wood grain so that it would look like that's the front door. Really easy and I just wrote down there pull so that Beth would know she can pull this down and see a rainbow of dogs. And I'll tell you why I did that. On the back, I picked out a couple of quotes and I printed all of this out on my computer. 2016 was marked by so many tragic mass shootings, police shootings of citizens, 
ambushes of law enforcement officers, so many sad and terrible things. And I thought I would make this memory capsule project something that marked what I hope for for the future. So here are a couple of quotes that I hope will explain my project. It says, a rainbow of friends is a dream we can share where everyone's treated with kindness and care. That's a quote from P.K. Hallinan. The next quote is, I think dogs are the most amazing creatures. They give unconditional love. For me, they are the role model for being alive. And that's a quote from Gilda Radner. And why I picked these quotes out are because of what I'll read to you next. 2016 was marked by so many tragic mass shootings in the U.S., including the Orlando, Florida shooting of 103 people, 50 of whom died. It was also marred by noted police shootings of innocent citizens and ambush shootings of police, including the Dallas, Texas shooting of five law enforcement officers. I think the world would be a better place if people had the ability to love unconditionally like dogs. How would we be if we were all rainbow colored and or changed colors randomly each day? I imagine no one would discriminate, be ostracized, bully, or judge. I dream and hope for a better future. And that's why I colored up these adorable dogs in all of these rainbow colors. Thank you so much, Beth, for a wonderful challenge. I hope you all are having a wonderful day, and thanks so much for watching.